because your life goes by fast enough. Why not slow the pace with Mist Valley Gaming? Welcome to Macabre Mondays, this week on Close to the Sun. Oh, shit. Yeah, that could be bad. Burnt out fuse on security panel number 122B, melted safety pin on distribution hub number 4, faulty high voltage cable between T3 and T4, pressure pump 26, doesn't fucking work at all. Fuse box 14L contain no backup fuses, only toilet paper. Missing thermostat on 3 out of 4 for storage tanks. Pump 34W is leaking hydraulic fluid, missing multiple pressure control valve wheels. Full list of defects is nailed to the coffee machine in the cafeteria. I might have slipped with a hammer with nailing the list to it, so it appears you'll all be performing this week's maintenance without your regular dose of coffee. You'll thank me later. Aubrey King. I already know I can't make this. I'm in the tall building to your right. Oh, hey. See me in the window there, Rose. Let's get a little crazy, because gaming should be fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, hey, folks. Welcome back. What are we doing playing Close to the Sun for the second time in a week here? Well, we decided to retire. I decided to retire Conarium. So that game is coming out, and we're adding something new in next week. Uh, I wanted to not rush myself into it right this second. I'm just installing it right now, actually. So uh, we'll talk to you about that next week. A new Spooky Sperry game that uh, has very, very good reviews on Steam. It runs about four hours, so, uh, you know, at my pace, that means it might take uh, a month to get through. You know, an hour a week, right? Uh, if we do it once every two weeks, it might take a little bit longer, or who knows. Uh, it's not the longest game. Uh, it's not an expensive game. It looks decent. Uh, it's got great reviews. It uh, has a lot of vibes, people say, of Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Um, and I think it might be a cool game with some uh, jump scares that'll make me crap myself, which everybody else seems to enjoy when I do that. Uh, not so much by maid. His name is Trent. Also, my horse in Red Dead. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy that, but that's coming next week. For this week, we're jumping back into Close to the Sun. Let's see how close we get to finishing this. I don't know. I have no, no idea how long, how, <clears throat> it's going to be how far into this we are, but I'm really enjoying this game so far. So let's, uh, let's jump back into it. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. As I want to hope that. <clears throat> the Strife of Eris. If you say so. Chapter 7, though. I don't know how many chapters there are. I have a confession to make. Boy. Oh. <laughs> I told you that I had a family, but I don't. That was a lie. I'm a liar, Rose. I'm sorry. That's okay, Aubrey. <sighs> Glad to hear it, because I'm afraid you've got a bit of work to do before you can get to my end of the engine halls. <laughs> but oh, of yeah. course I do. Right about that guy. What a surprise. Right. Where do I go? Make your way to the local engine hall. You'll have to find a way to the other side of it. Yes! The power coupling, Spenny! Hey, Rose. I gotta sort this out. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay. Just don't... Don't what? Aubrey? Aubrey! Great. Yeah. Don't the thing you're probably gonna do. Okay. 
Easy peasy, right? We'll just uh, we'll just go up here and uh, oh oh oh, there's this thing in the way. Oh, we uh, we got to go a harder way. What? I know, shocking. Well, there's also this way. Looks super super duper pleasant. Seem to get up here. Not let me go any of these ways, so that's a no. I guess it's the uh, the glowing green door with the uh, trail of blood. Excellent, right? Could be safe. Oh yeah, oh definitely safe. I mean, what's safer? This look, he's got a little heart made out of blood uh, under, uh, just over top of that weapon sticking out of him. Totally safe. So I can do it this way. Any chance there's uh, like, uh, like a lunch room around here? I could just uh, grab a snack. Okay. Have that weapon. Think so. What? Break down? Hey, I gotta go this way? Okay, the power's going in and out. Is that what's happening? That's freaky. Hey. Um. Yeah, rather freaky. Whoa. Ghosty people. about what the power in and out thing means. Okay. Are your entrails out? I'm just I'm just asking. Just asking for a friend. Uh all these power couplings are still functions beyond me. Look at them, the only thing holding together is rust and dust. That's not the scary part. Oh, don't say that. These were to fail. First, the D12 panel would overload, preventing the automatic pressure equalizer from receiving updated values. That will cause the local heat trigger to flip, preventing the situation from escalating. But since the heat trigger is entirely missing, that won't happen. Catastrophic pressure building in the discharge tanks, causing a grade C plus explosion, anywhere from four to 10 casualties, depending on shift to be expected. You want to gamble with lies? At least have the common decency say so openly, assholes. So, what do I do now? Do I go up here? See, that's a no. I'm not going down there. I can't go this way. But I do need to get over that way. This is more than a little disconcerting, I'm just going to tell you. Altogether, um, unpleasant. Um. 
getting across is going to be an issue, I can tell. for a jump scare. Oh, and then the electricity goes out, right? Briefly. Okay. I also want to check out over there as well, so let's go do that. Go this way. Let's wait till next time. <coughs> Jeez. That person didn't make it. Aubrey, can you do something about the power coming and going? I thought you had that area covered. Uh, there's a bit of a hiccup with this, uh, with a large electromagnetic distribution coil. It seems to be pulsating. Uh, yeah, that means nothing to me, Aubrey. <clears throat> Speak plainly. Rosie, we are harvesting electricity from time itself. This shit is complicated, okay? You just find a way forward and... Don't die! Ah, great plan, Aubrey. Your best work yet. You hear that, Benny? Rose is giving me attitude. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit. Okay, I need to go the opposite way, not the way I'm facing her. Okay, go away from this ladder. I need to go this direction. Just jump down here. Mm, no, I won't. Over there. Can't see anything here, so I don't know. Can I walk down this? Guessing it's up. Yes, people. What's up? Panel over here. I want to check out. Get in this room? Yes. Anything else? So there's a switch over here. I need to get to the switch. Okay, let's go in the room. One in the room. High voltage harvest chamber. Here? I'm guessing so. Okay. Not which direction I'm going anymore. 
anymore. Am I supposed to run and jump? That's a massive jump. to jump that, am I? That's nuts. I don't see any other reason to be up here, though. Okay, here we go. Guessing that was death. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, nope. Can't do that. I already did that. I don't understand at this point where I'm supposed to go. Do anything here? Now it's here. Oh, okay. Now we can go up there. And there's a okay. Keepers. Interesting. No, Rose. Last time you were up here, you died. So don't don't die again because that's bad. I guess let's go that way. I just want to see is there anything over here? Maybe. I can't get by. We'll go this way then. We'll wait till lights come on. I need to go that way. Yeah. For you. over here. No idea if I'm going the right way here. Thing not. See anything to do. supposed to do here?
green light over there. Oh, what is it telling me? I was gonna get to go over that, but how? I don't understand. I can get down there, but I don't know how to... But I caught the power to this area. Looks like I need to get this direction. stupid. I'm going to die on this one for sure. Yep. Okay, so that's that's not it either. I don't I don't get it. Power goes out, I gotta do it. Duh! Idiot. I'm an idiot! They've been pretty obvious. Oh shit. Okay, it didn't happen. You just push the button and the character hops over. Yeah, I'm still here, Aubrey. I made it across the engine hall. What now? Up ahead is hydraulics and pressure control. The distribution coil is boiling the storage tanks, so you're going to have to reduce the pressure in order to get the security doors to open. Find the pressure valves, Rose. Turning them should bring the pressure down. Okay. Find the valves to reduce pressure. Got it. Doing great, Rose. You're almost here. Okay. Talk to you in a bit. Turning the correct valves. So, this is model HPCC 0928. See if that helps any. Where are the valves I'm looking for? Right, correct. Said valves, so there's more than one, right? Yeah.
Could be up top. Let's search over here first. Oh, we'll go up top. That's me. This stuff's important, I guess. Apparently not. That's the door I came in, I guess. ladders. If I turned two valves, one had the right number, one didn't. wants me to do here. stuff is it blows us up. some pressure. Okay, what's this? Wow, the way people did despite me is truly astonishing. The CAP transfer cables are not supposed to be connected to the current control system. Because the cables fit, doesn't mean they're supposed to connect there. Two systems operate on entirely different frequencies. All the power readings we collect is left special not to be thrown out. Since the valves have been compromised, how the hell are we supposed to keep the helios running effectively without you lot pissing away our chances to take accurate measurements? Mandatory systems and cables review session on Tuesday. We we'll go for as long as needed until everyone has an intimate understanding of required cable connections. One down? Yes. I went 
this one already. Okay. The other one. To do. It wants me to do nothing. The problem. Oh. things, eh? All right. Oh, the way. See, pressure's got to come down a little bit more still. Okay, somewhere around here there was one more of those things. It looked like a push button thing, but I don't really think it was a push button thing. Problems, not so good. Huh. Get to and uh, nope. Hey, we're going to need that. Sensors here. The security doors should be open. Just one more hurdle, and then we can get the hell out of this ship. All right, one more hurdle. What's up next? Well, you remember that malfunction in supersized electromagnetic distribution coil? It's. You know what? Some things just need to be seen. Come on through. Come on from where? I don't know where I'm going. Okay. 
Okay. up here? No. Okay. Not really sure. What's going on? Oh. Is this the blue time mist? Hope not. Supersized electromagnetic distribution coil. Ugh. I'm going to call it Fred. Oh, shit. Yeah, that could be bad. Don't worry, you're safe in there. As long as you don't get directly exposed to the shock wave, you should be fine. <sighs> Good to know. You should be able to see me. I'm in the tall building to your right. Oh, see hey. See me in the window there, Rose. Anyway, you see that building on fire in the distance? That's where you'll find the emergency deactivation switch. Wait, all the way over there? At the other end? Yep. You want me to sprint there while Electromag something or other regularly fries the entire place? Yep. <sighs> I've been thinking about this part. If it's all right with you, I'll open the door on the left and just hide in the corner for a while, okay? Of course. I, I wouldn't want you screaming in my ear anyway. that Ward Clifton's representatives that referring to the maintenance team as assholes is not in line with corporate leadership procedure, so I henceforth refrain from using that term when describing the team. I'm uh, referring to you a lot as detective, defective fuck-ups, so they swear it's like you guys are deliberately trying to piss me off. Here's a sample of the many things the latest inspection uncovered. Burnt out fuse on security panel number 122B, melted safety pin on distribution hub number 4, faulty high voltage cable between T3 and T4, pressure pump 26 doesn't fucking work at all, fuse box 14L contained no backup fuses, only toilet paper, missing thermostat on 3 out of 4 for storage tanks, pump 34W is leaking hydraulic fluid, missing multiple pressure control valve wheels. Full list of defects is nailed to the coffee machine in the cafeteria, I might have slipped with a hammer when nailing the list to it, so it appears you'll all be performing this week's maintenance without your regular dose of coffee. You'll thank me later. Aubrey King. If you are enjoying this video, please support the internet arts by leaving a like and consider subscribing. Don't forget, the comments section is one place you can go to have your voice heard. 
but the other is to join Mist Valley Discord, a like-minded community of gaming fans, music fans, sports fans, movie fans, and perhaps even some fans of me, Dread. My Discord is also where to go to see all of my latest video creations and to join Dread's gaming servers. And now, back to the weirdly soothing sounds of a YouTube channel that slows its pace so that we can all enjoy things on a deeper level. So normally this would be a place where I would probably save the game and uh, say we'll see you next week. But, uh, you know, this is not one of those games. You can't save it. You got to get to the end of the, uh, the chapter. So I got no idea. Between pulses, I have to run at this thing while I'm not getting hit by the wave. No idea what that actually means. I didn't understand. It looked like an elevator came down. I didn't understand how to get in it. Seemed to be something in the way. I can't see well enough there. Now I don't even know where I'm at.
Guess that was a no. Can't see. Too dark. I died right away. Nice. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going here, so... Quite make that. That's too long. Die again. I'm annoying. Here, go, 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 go. You gotta go quicker. I have no idea where I'm going. No idea where I'm going. Very frustrating. Can't go there. Probably dead. Don't understand where I'm supposed to go. I can't jump that. I need to get up there, maybe, or maybe not. I need to get that time, but wait. We had to get to the room that was on fire. I think I'm going the right way. Come on.
damage. Stay on the fucking ladder. Damn it! I don't I don't understand when games do things like this. It just frustrates me. Give me some instruction. Actual instruction. Gotta wait again. Fun. Come on, game. There's never this long of a pause between bursts when I'm running. Now the game is just toying with me. That's not fair. I mean, the game does this on purpose. That's not fair. way I can make it, though, because the, I can't run any faster. I can't go the long way because it doesn't give me a long enough shot at it. And I don't see... Where am I?
So that was a trick. Use the other Is ladder? How should I know? I, I pulled the damn thing. Did it work? Just a moment. I think you did it, Rose. Oh, thank God. I can't believe it! You did it! Woohoo! I am going to live! Hey, 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 hey. So, Aubrey, Aubrey, how about we finally get off this godforsaken thing? How did they do so? Take the metal walkways on your left. They should lead you up here to the control center. I know I've said thank you already, but it will be nice to finally be able to do it in person. On my way, Aubrey. See you in a bit. I don't understand where I'm supposed to go to. Oh, I do. Get over there. Perhaps. Is this going to be freaky? Hope Aubrey knows of a shortcut off this thing. Ooh, I don't fancy going back the way I came. Where are you, Aubrey? Let's go! It would be funny if I wasn't so goddamn depressive. Since my transfer from the weather department eight months ago, I have yet to perform a maintenance check that didn't reveal a severe system malfunction. All I hear are safety concerns this, safety concerns that. You lot could succeed at keeping the engine hall running for a week without some new disaster. We actually might be able to get the budget to take care of your workplace safety paranoia. <laughs> For those who care, the funeral at sea for your colleague Michael Jensen will be held at 2 p.m. Wednesday. That's all, Aubrey. Come on, Aubrey. Let's go already. Aubrey? I feel like Aubrey's already dead. He's here. Okay. Oh, what the? No, Rosie. Uh. What the? Uh. 
I tried to tell you. I really did. I'm a liar, Rose. I've heard everything, every word, since you came aboard. From your first conversation with Ada, to the last words she ever spoke. I even listened in on your conversation with Aubrey. Nicola. What? It wasn't Tesla's lockdown that was jamming your sister's broadcasts. That was another lie. It was me! Why? Because she took everything from me! Everything! I had his attention! I had his respect! But she took it all. I used to be someone aboard the ship. But now... Now the time has come to take Aubrey. back. Starting with these. If you do this, I will kill you. Is that a promise, Rosie? Scout's honor. <laughs> Cute. You forget that just like I led the exotic energy to the surgery room of your sister. So too am I leading exotic energy to you, right here. You better hurry. Those things will be here any minute. Benny here will keep you company when you die. I instead use these to save the day and reclaim what was mine. One leaf in, one horn out. story? Or... Then you'll death? So, uh, this is the weirdest chase ever. Yeah, we definitely can't go this way. I have no idea. Can't go that way. I was supposed to close the door behind me, was I? I don't see that. Oh, 
here anyway, who cares? Well, I can't go through this stuff. Probably not a good idea, but here I am doing it. Tesla? This is so weird. It's going to be okay. Really? Go on. It's going to be okay. It is. Okay, so we got the chapter eight. This has taken an even weirder turn. I'm, I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I, I just, it's a fascinating story. I, um, I really don't know what to say. But thank you for joining your chapter seven of Close to the Sun. We'll be back in two weeks with uh, Chapter 8. Uh, next week, we'll be back with a brand new game. Something jump scary and uh, and cool I think you might like. But we'll save uh, all about it till next week. So we'll see you then. For Miss L. Gimme, my name is Dread. My name is Dread. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Peace out.